G'day Pisces, welcome back to TJ Terra Down Under. Gonna do the love energy coming towards you as at now. Let's go. Give me three cards for the love energy coming towards Pisces, please. Yes, I'm early this week. Yeah, well, I had to. <laughs> I had to do it a day early, so can't be helped. But lucky you, you get your reading early. <laughs> Just this week. Yes, as far as I know. All right. Let's clarify card one, please. Um, this is a general reading, so take what resonates, leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate at all, you can check out your other placements or check out my playlist and see if something resonates for you there. Clarify card one, please. Thank you. Clarify card two, please. Cross watches, this could be your energy. If not, it will be somebody else's, so keep that in mind. Clarify card three, please. You may not be the only one thinking about Pisces right now. Come on, don't be shy. Clarify card three, please. Thank you. Oh, it doesn't matter. I don't take reversals anyway. Okay. Whew, it took a while. Three more for the love energy coming towards Pisces, please. Um, all the decks are pre-shuffled and are listed below in the description box in the order that I'm using them in case you are interested in what these decks are. Something flip? No. Something got no. Not even gonna fall out. Alright, keep going. <laughs> this one. This energy's very I'm sure something flipped in there. Very slow at getting out. No, there's nothing flipped in there. Okay. Yeah, all the decks are listed below in the description box in case you're interested. Okay. Clarify card one in row two, please. Hope you're all doing well, taking care of yourselves and having a good day. Clarify card two, please. Good week and good weekend. Card two in row two. And then clarify card three in row two, please. And don't forget to spoil yourself. Whoa, that was a lot. All right, finally spilled the beans in the end. <laughs> okay, let's begin, Pisces. Retreat, it's time to disconnect from the world. Okay, do they want to retreat with you or are they retreating from doing something? Hmm. I can see a face in that card now and I can't get rid of it. I see an eye there and an eye there. And a bit of a bridge of a nose, like it's a big skull. <laughs> oh, and it could even be the hair. Oh, now I see a face there. Oh, it's just pareidolia. But yeah, I, yeah. I've never noticed that skull face there before. I've seen that one a few times, but anyway. Mm -hmm. Things might not be as they seem. Queen of Swords. Ooh. So are they retreating from coming correctly or are they retreating because they see you, Pisces, with your sword up? <laughs> Saying, uh, 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 you're not getting near me unless you can pass this sword of truth. And even if you do speak your truth, I may not like what you hear, what I hear. Wow, they're, they're retreating because they know you've got your sword up. They can't just come in and smooze you with passionate, flirty words and you're just going to crumble. No, 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 that's not going to work. And they know that. Oof, wow, go Pisces. Yeah, you got them running scared is what I'm hearing. 
pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you here. There, yeah. They know. They give off too many red flags. Oh, the death card, and that's what's ended things. Yeah. Transformation, an ending which brings a new beginning. Yeah, again, I feel this is how they see you. This is this this tiny little speckle of a wire-thin thread that's holding this rope together. And one more red flag thing, and you're going to use your sword. <laughs> you both got swords. <laughs> to cut that thread. Cut the connection. Yeah, nope. It's like, I find, it's like you do anything wrong. You're like, you're hanging through it by a thread, mate. I, you know, from being completely cut out of my life altogether, never want to hear from you again. It's like, at the moment, you're like, accept the fact that they're in the background somewhere. But I think one, they know one, yeah, this is how they feel. They accept the, you know, they're retreating from approaching because they know you've got your sword up. And one more red flag and that's it. You'll never, ever, like, they'll be blocked from everything. Completely cut off. That'll be the end. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Okay. Oh, the lovers. The Wheel of Fortune. The Emperor. Ooh. See, they believe that you two will be connected for... This is what I'm hearing, that you'll be... That you two are meant to be connected for life is what they feel. That you're, you're going to always be there for them. And that the wheel will turn in their favour eventually. It will, may take some time. And they'll have control again. Be able to rule over you is what I'm hearing. Oh, they're just horrible. They'll be back in, the, back in control again. Yeah. So they believe that you are meant to be soulmates. That, you know, that you're just going to keep putting up with their crap and letting them back in. It may take some time, but... Wow. <coughs> mm. Looks like they haven't learnt the lesson. You've learnt the lesson... That's why they're afraid to return, because you, you're not dropping your wall like you used to. So you've learnt your lesson, you've learnt your value, you know that you deserve better than what they've been offering. But they haven't learnt that... <laughs> well, they haven't learnt that... <laughs> it's not going to happen. Well, they still think that there's a chance. They still believe, when it comes to love with you, that you are connected. That in time, they will have be back in that emperor seat above you again. Well, it's how they feel. <laughs> no one should be above you, Pisces. No way. <coughs> All right. Impatience. Ooh. Ooh, Nine of Swords, it's a nightmare because they, they don't like this waiting. And the Seven of Cups, and they're so confused about what's going on here. <coughs> oh, I can hear them going, why is this taking so long? Why is Pisces still angry with me? Why can't I? Yeah, and they can't sleep at night, and this is a nightmare with all this confusion about, well, how come I can't just... Get back to them like I used to. Ooh, they don't like that. That you're, yeah, standing your ground. Ooh, yeah, they don't like it. Instinct. Oh, look out. 
I'm hearing animal instincts. Which aren't usually... That's fine, but not when it comes to love. <laughs> no, you're not hunting for food here. Alright, the world card. The Queen of Pentacles, okay. The Knight of Pentacles. And the Five of Pentacles, wow. So the instincts, are, well, intuition, more like it, is, I mean, grey is the um, crown chakra in this deck. Or is it the... Yeah, it's the crown chakra. Yeah, it is, it's the crown chakra in this deck. So, yeah, the higher self. Is telling them this cycle is closing out, mate. On this commitment, this love and commitment that you had with Pisces, because you're not taking by not taking any action of stability here, you're just going to be left out in the cold. Yeah, because because uh, they just. If this is the same person you've been dealing with, which I feel the energy is that same one from the bars that still thinks that they can come back and just take over. Um, yeah, no actions of stability, mate, and you're done. You're out in the cold. You, that's it. This commitment's over. But they know this, it's hanging by a thread. One more red flag, and they're not doing the right thing. Retreating from coming correctly, but they know one more red flag and it's done. But they still believe that there's a connection here, and if they just bide their time, the wheel will turn. But they're not handling the waiting. <laughs> it's taken too long this time. Self-worth. Ooh, it's affecting their self-worth here. Can you see that? Yes, you can. Ooh, five of cups. Wow. Major sadness and disappointment within themselves. So, ooh, yeah. Ace of Wands. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, because, see, they know to get any passionate, a passionate beginning... It's going to have to be stability, actually, a, a stable beginning. You're going to have to offer something real. The Empress. I mean, we've got the Emperor up here. We've got the Empress here underneath. Yeah, this is going to, uh, yeah, offering a stable beginning and it's got to grow. It's got to grow into something. Or there's no passionate beginning here. Ace of Cups. Wow, so you've got three Aces in one go here. Yeah, the stability has to bloom and grow into something that's the love. Yeah, to have any passion with you, a passionate beginning, there's going to have to be stability that grows. Stability that grows into a commitment here. And there's going to have to be love. Right from the beginning. Stability and love right from the beginning that grows. If they want any passion with you. And yeah, their self-worth. They're so disappointed in them, themselves. I feel they don't have any self-worth. They, 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 this controlling mechanism, well... See, I think that what it really is, as much as they, they try and control you, it's about you being in control of them. Providing all that f that you have for them. You're the one that held all the cards. Although they didn't let you know that. They made you feel that they held the cards, but they didn't. As you can see, they're impatient. They're going, it's a nightmare. They're totally confused about why you're making them wait. They know. 
this is a red flag for them because it's done. They're trying to believe that in time this will come back together, but their instincts are telling them that, no, mate, this is going to be over. If you don't take actions of stability here and actually commit to this, it's done. And then even then, I don't even know whether you will let them in. But we've got three aces here. Perhaps it's their own self-ego, you know, and they're disappointed because they know if they want actions of passion with you, they're going to have to offer something stable that grows and they're going to have to offer love. Do they... And if they don't, you know, if that's... Something that you're too selfish about, mate, and that's just you just feel absolutely disappointed that you have to do that, then you need to just move on and go find someone, an, a player to play with, someone who wants to play that player game and leave Pisces alone. I just hope you find your own self worth. Because this is a thing, they're disappointed within themselves and that's why they keep avoiding, you know, doing the right thing. Oops, sorry. Bottom of the deck. Please don't give up on me. Yeah, see, they're worried that you've given up on them. Bottom of the deck, pre-shuffle. Wow. All right. Not with this love energy you like to say to Pisces, please. Wow. I just feel they're getting really desperate now. Yeah, look at that. Oh, wrong way. Okay. I blamed you, but it was me. Yeah, see, they know. They know it was them. They know. They know it was them. Tried to, yeah, see, this is that controlling thing. I told you. They tried to put the blame on you because they didn't want to take responsibility for themselves. You were the one that was responsible. They aren't responsible. Like, as in, you take responsibility for yourself. And, you know, if they can prove to you that you were responsible, that was your fault, you'll take that and say, yes, okay, yes, I did do that. That's, that's fine. I'm responsible for that. They can't do that. They can't take responsibility for themselves. You're the one that's the strength and the, the responsible one. And see, that's why they blamed you, because they didn't want to take responsibility for themselves, but they they know it was them. They're wanting to... They are, they're, well, they're either waiting for you to come back and apologise <laughs> and take them back again. But I think they... Hmm, I think they're waiting for you to come back and apologise. And it's driving them nuts that it's taking so long for you to come back. Because, yeah, you've still got your sword up. You're not dealing with it anymore. And I feel like I'm losing you. Yes, they know. They know that, you know... This time you've put some mortar between the, the the rocks of the wall you've built so that once it's dry, it ain't coming down. It's not just bricks stacked and you can just push them over. No, this is going to be a permanent wall and that they know, they're feeling that. And they're panicking. Oh, they're panicking, Pisces, they're panicking. Oh, well. That's what happens. You know, you mess someone around for too long and they ain't coming back. Simple. All right, well, that's your reading, Pisces. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Leave a nice comment. That would be awesome. And thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. All right, all the best. Take care, good luck, and I'll catch you later.